Europe won the Shergar Cup at Ascot, thanks largely to the jockeyship of French rider Gerard Mosse, who also took the silver saddle as the meeting's leading rider. Europe finished comfortably top of the pile on 97 points, 36 clear of Great Britain and Ireland, with the rest of the world in third and the girls team in fourth. Mosse excelled on Royal Skies in the 12 furlong Shergar Cup Classic, making all and having enough in reserve to see off all comers. The race was a personal triumph too for trainer Mark Johnston, who saddled the first three home. Royal Skies was well backed at Goodwood last time, but disappointed in sixth. But he made up for it here and has a touch of class about him. The horse answered all my questions and never gave up, said Mosse, top jockey at the Shergar Cup for a second time. Onto the turn though, and it's uh, Royal Skies. Gerald Mosse just showing the way from Lisa Oil Press. Fair Prairie Ranger, the outer. Followed then by around the outer there goes Bushel, Kieran Fallon. And now he's flat to the boards as they straighten up. Lisa Oil Press on Prairie Ranger. Rangers up now to Mosse on Royal Skies. They have it between them at the moment. Royal Skies has kicked again. Kicked again now and gone a length and a half in front of Prairie Ranger. Uh, battling on, switch to the inside there as Bushel. Followed out deeper on the track there starting to run on statutory very late in front as Royal Skies here for Gerald Mosse and Europe in front now Fallon getting an extra effort out of Bushel starting to fly a statutory as they race up towards the line Royal Skies has just got there just held off Fallon on Europe and indeed Mark Johnston took the next race as well the Shergar Cup challenge also over a mile and a half Europe filled the first three places as Star Laheeb, ridden by Eritz Mendithabal in the black cap, bounded clear from Sadler's Risk with Ice Buster in third. Star Laheeb, winner of the old Newton Cup at Haydock, ran a good eighth in the John Smith's Cup at York last time, but this step back up in trip was right up his street. On the turn, though, getting through, the New Zealand rider Lisa Allpress takes the narrow lead uh, here on uh, uh, Scattered Dice from Jupiter Storm. Rosie Napravnik out very deep on the track, the white face. It's Rosie has gone up to take a narrow lead now on Jupiter Storm. In behind them, getting up on the inside, Star Laheeb. And now starting to be launched is Mosse on uh, down the outside, Sadler's Risk. Getting through on the inside, Yoritz Mendezabel takes it up now on Star Laheeb. Mosse's run into second on Sadler's risk and uh, they're clear then of the other uh, runner for Europe and that's Ice Buster but it's a 1-2-3 I reckon for Europe so up towards the line and punched right out it's Starla Heave is going to go on and win it well from in second Sadler's risk in third then is Ice Buster followed then by Fallon fourth on Willie Britain Bain. and Ireland got off to the perfect start by winning the first two races James Doyle in the green and black cap got the ball rolling on nine rounds in the Shergar Cup mile the winner, who may be even better if he learns to settle, made virtually all to score at 92. He was well fancied at York on his reappearance, but obviously needed the run. This was Doyle's 50th win of the season. But it's still James Doyle who shows the way on nine rounds. But here come the challenges. Gerald Mosse getting up on the inside on Jack's Revenge. Out wide a famous poet, Joe Marrera, called on for the effort now. Nine rounds being tackled on the outside now by Joe Marrera on famous poet. And Mosse getting up on the inner on Jack's Revenge. Still nine rounds though. Sticking to the task well for Doyle. Finding plenty. And nine rounds goes on to win it well. Out wider, or might be getting up for second famous... And then, a little over half an hour later, it was Kieran Fallon's turn in the spotlight, as he rode a brilliant race on Homeric in the two-mile Sugar Cup stayers. The third and fourth placings were reversed in this, as Cathy Gannon on Highland Castle in the white cap, who passed the post in third, was a judge to have impeded the fourth home in the black cap, Oriental Fox. But none of this troubled Fallon on board Homeric in the green and noseband. He came wide and late to thwart mutual regard in a bunch finish. It's getting there and out wider now as Homeric starting to respond to Fallon, but still Cathy Gannon on the inside with Highland Castle. Here's Homeric with mutual regard. Homeric is swamping them out wide, goes up, grabs the lead close home. Homeric, I reckon, has just got up. The Atug in the yellow and black cap won the dash and the rest of the world rider, Joe Morea. This was Atug's first win in over two years. Both the winner and runner-up steps were placed behind Barnet Fair over course and distance last time. Over on the far side, Joe Marrera, Artug is coming into it as well, and behind them, Kieran Fallon on Panda. Over on the far side, though, the nose banded Swan Song is fighting it out with Joe Marrera on Artug, and now forges into the lead. He's drifting towards the stands rail, though. It's Artug in front now. Now James Dahl on Steps is being produced on the outside. It's Artug kept going from Steps. They race towards the line. Artug 
Batu for the money, goes on to beat Steps and in third then. And it was fitting that the final race should be won by the rest of the world captain Gary Stevens, 14 years after winning at Royal Ascot for the Queen. The legendary American, who only came back to race riding this year after a seven year break, was at his very best on Annunciation in the all yellow colours. He dropped him out last in the six furlong Shergar Cup sprint, but came with a perfect challenge to just deny Noble Deed. But it's Rosie Napravnik on Noble Deed who's just in the centre of the pink jacket. Far side Storm Moon is uh, Yasunari Awata. Then uh, Mendoza Bull on the stands rail with Barracuda Boy battling away as Jadana James Doyle. And now coming into the centre is Shada Roba for uh, Kieran Fallon now. But still Napravnik shows the way. She's drifting about a bit on Noble Deed, but still getting a tune out of this with a furlong to go. Big danger, Barracuda Boy. Yoritz Mendazable on the stands rail. Still in front, Rosie Napravnik for the girls holding on, flashing home Annunciation. But as they come up towards the line, it's Noble Deed and grabbed by Annunciation on the line. Gary Stevens has got up to beat Napravnik on Noble Deed.